Hey guys, what's up? Naomi here with day one of week one of my Level Up six week workout guide. I've had a lot of you guys say, hey Naomi, I've done your beginner workout guides and challenges here on our channel, but I'm ready for the next thing. I'm no longer a beginner anymore and I'm ready to take the next step up. And that's literally exactly what I created my Level Up workout guide for. So it's a six week workout guide and it's for people who are exactly in that same position who you're no longer, you have graduated from being a beginner. You know, you've done the due diligence put in a lot of work and you're ready to take the next step up you're ready to level up and that's again that's exactly what my level up workout guide is for and so today I figured you know what why don't I give you guys a preview of what the level up workout guide is all about um, and so today we will be doing day one of week one of my level up workout guide uh, do keep in mind that my level up workout guide is basically exactly like the other workout guides and challenges that you've seen here on my channel YouTube based so every every day so every workout of the of every week has a video here on YouTube that you can follow along with otherwise you also get a logbook giving you an overview of each workout so that you don't have to so you can just do it on your own time and not have to follow along to the videos if you don't want to let's get started Hello and welcome to day one of week one. I'm so excited to start this workout guide with you and I hope you are too. Over the course of the next six weeks, be ready to try new things, challenge yourselves, get closer to your fitness goals, enter a new phase in your fitness journey, and of course, level up. I believe in you, I need you to believe in you too. You are strong, capable, worthy, and this is your year, babe. Let's get these gains. Today we'll be targeting our lower body starting with the superset which is two exercises performed back to back with no rests in between but there will be a 10 second interval in between the two exercises to allow you enough time to transition. For this first superset we'll be doing goblet squats for 10 reps and then stationary lunges for 10 reps per leg, taking a 60 second rest and then performing that superset for a total of 4 times. If you've done goblet squats and stationary lunges before, use a weight that you're familiar with that you know will give you a good challenge without compromising your form for the 10 reps. For any exercise in this guide over the next 6 weeks that you're not familiar with, I'd recommend starting with the lightest weight possible that you have, and then once you can do 12 to 15 reps of that exercise with that weight comfortably with good form, then bump it up to the next available weight that you have. Don't forget to also record the weight slash load amount that you use for each exercise today in your logbook as well to also help give you a guide as to how much weight you should be using and how you should be progressing with the weight amounts. Keep in mind that the logbook's recommendations are simply a recommendation and to always use weights that you're comfortable with. We'll get started with goblet squats in just a second but before we do, let me go over correct form for this exercise since it does require a bit more attention. When performing this exercise, place a dumbbell right on your chest and not out in midair to avoid our arms getting too tired. We'll get to upper body day on day 2 but today we're working only our lower body. From here, simply bend your knees and lower yourself down as if you were sitting on an imaginary chair and then once you go as low as you can without rounding your lower back, squeeze your glutes to push your hips forward and return back to starting position. Inhale right before or as you go down into the squat and exhale as you go back up. As I was saying previously, there's no need to squat all the way down to the ground. Simply squat as low as you can without rounding your lower back at the very bottom of that squat. Being able to squat deeper will simply come with practice and improve mobility and flexibility. Over the next few weeks, you'll likely see yourself be able to squat lower and lower. Your knee should also point in the same direction as your toes as you reach the lowest part of the squat. I know it's all a lot to remember, but no worries, we'll keep working on perfecting our form and going over all of these cues and by the end of these 6 weeks, all of this will become second nature to you. Let's get started with 10 reps of goblet squats in 3, 2, 1. Three, two, one. Beautifully executed, guys. Let's grab our next pair of dumbbells and do stationary lunges next for 10 reps on each leg. Feel free to start with whichever leg suits you best and then move on right over to the next leg after. As you step out into the lunge, lean into that lunge as much as you can and try to get the knee of the leg behind you right above the ground. But again, no worries if you can't, you'll be able to see your flexibility and mobility improve over the next few weeks as we keep practicing these exercises. 
Also remember that your arms are not being worked in this exercise and we want the focus to be on our legs. Keep your shoulders relaxed and avoid lifting the dumbbells up with your arms. Simply hold the weights in your hands at your sides and allow your legs to do the heavy lifting. Inhale as you step out into the lunge and exhale as you push off your front foot to return back to starting position. I just wanna get out of here. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew. Round one of superset one is complete. Well done. Let's go ahead and take a 60 second rest and then we'll perform that superset again afterwards. Let's get back into getting those leg gains. Goblet squats for 10 reps, superset with stationary lunges for 10 reps per leg. Remember to keep that dumbbell right on your chest. Inhale as you go down into the squat and then exhale as you squeeze your glutes to return back to starting position. Heading straight into stationary lunges next for 10 reps on each leg. Keep it going strong, my boss babes. You're doing great. Life is what you make it. Life should been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford. But that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. That's why I almost gave in. All this shit I'm laying in, it's only the foundation. I've been going crazy. Just trying to find a way. I was in a basement. Trying to turn the page. I was going through the face. Nobody see my face. I've been chasing at the paper. Been all it for the ways. But everything again. And I didn't let the loose. I've been breaking rules. I've been making moves. Nicely done. Let's take a one minute rest. I'll see you back here for another round of that super set after. I'm trying to feel the again. I've lost some way in my head. I can hide it all on my own. Hold it tight to the patch. I'm somewhere near the edge. I wish we never met. I'm scared of being without you. Now starting round three of that superset. Let's do some goblet squats. Ten reps. Here we go. Scrolling down a feet, afraid we never get to see the type of liberation that we really need to set us all free. 
switching dumbbells for stationary lunges next, 10 reps on each leg. Inhale, exhale. You got this. Way to go, guys. Grab some water and hydrate. I'll see you back here in a minute. This is our last round of this superset. Let's do it justice. Goblet squats for 10 reps. Moving right into stationary lunges. 10 reps per leg, piece of cake, you got this. You guys are killing it. We'll take a 60 second rest and then head into our next superset after, which will be RDLs, also known as Romanian deadlifts, superset with single leg hip thrusts. I just wanted to go over a few form tips quick for RDLs. This exercise will target your hamstrings and glutes. Just like the two exercises we just did, we don't want our arms to take over, so make sure to only hold the dumbbells with your hands and not lift them up with your arms. If you're looking directly from the side as I do the RDL, you'll see that the dumbbells essentially go straight up and down, almost making a line perpendicular to the ground, with only my upper body bending forward to face the floor and glutes being pushed behind that line. Your knees should be slightly bent throughout the movement as well, but shouldn't be bending in order to lower the dumbbells down. You'll also notice that my back stays almost flat throughout the entire movement as well. Just like with goblet squats, being able to go down lower will come with practice and improved mobility and flexibility. Go down as low as you can without hurting or rounding your back, and over the next few weeks, you'll see yourself be able to reach down lower. As you go down into the RDL, inhale, and once you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, squeeze your glutes to return back to starting position, exhaling as you do so. For this upcoming superset, we'll be doing 12 reps of RDLs with dumbbells and then heading straight into single leg hip thrusts after for 10 reps on each leg, taking a 60 second rest and then repeating for a total of 4 times. Let's get started.
Looking so dang good, babe. Let's do single leg hip thrust next for 10 reps per leg. This exercise will target your glutes, and all you'll want to do is position your middle back right under your shoulder blades under a bench, chair, your bed, anything works. Place one foot on the ground, and the other one will stay out in midair until it's their turn. The one on the ground will be the one we're working until we switch legs. Position the foot on the ground so that when you go up into the hip thrust, your knee comes to about a 90 degree angle. If you find that you're feeling it more in your quads, your foot is likely too close to your bench, and if you find that you're feeling it more in your hamstrings, your foot is likely too far away. Place your dumbbell right on your pelvis, wherever is most comfortable for you. Start with your booty right on top of the ground and squeeze the glute on that side to propel your hips up towards the ceiling, exhaling as you do so, and then inhale as you return back down to starting position. Awesome job guys. Go ahead and take a 60 second rest before we repeat that superset again. Here comes another round of that superset. Let's do dumbbell RDLs for 12 reps. Remember to inhale as you lower the dumbbells down and exhale as you squeeze your glutes to return back to starting position. Time flies by so fast. Still I'm thinking of you. Do you remember still? How we used to run. Moving right into single leg hip thrust next for 10 reps in each leg. That glute looking and doing so amazing, babe. Way to go, my boss babes. Let's take a quick rest and I'll see you back here in a minute. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone in a second. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? 
Dumbbell RDLs coming right up. Let's do 12 reps. Keep that back straight and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Doing great. Grab your bench and let's do single leg hip thrusts. 10 reps on each side. I just don't want this moment to end. But now you say you gotta go. Baby, why you gotta go? Like I knew you fit me. I just don't want this. I just don't want this moment to end. Keep on breathing. You got this. Wonderfully and beautifully executed, guys. Take a one minute rest and then we'll do our last round of the superset after. Like a mirror, you reflect me. I just don't want this. I just don't want this moment to end. We're talking to each other. I know we feel the same. About the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle. Yeah, we both carry a scar. As you write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. One last round of that super set. Let's get it, guys. RDLs for 12 reps. Say no more. Oh. Come run away. Don't be afraid. We'll be okay. And I know it's the right thing to do. Let's break away. All colors will fade. Let's go our own way. Now's the time to decide what to do, and I'll stand by you. Squeeze those glutes as you go back up and allow your hamstrings and glutes to do the heavy lifting. Beautiful. It's always mixed emotions. The first step is always hard. Single leg hip thrust starting now. Let's do 10 reps per leg. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh. Almost through to rest time. You can do it. We're to keep on pushing through. You guys are beasts. We're going to take a 60 second rest and then head into our last superset of this workout afterwards. The last superset will start with resistance band lateral steps followed by jump squats after. You'll need your resistance band slash hip circle for this next one, so make sure to grab that. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. Come run away.
Now starting our last superset to finish off this workout. 12 reps of resistance band lateral steps per leg followed by 12 jump squats. A 60 second rest and then repeat it for a total of 4 times. Grab your resistance band and let's do lateral steps. All you want to do for this exercise is bend down as if you were doing an air squat, stay down in that position and then alternate stepping out to the side with your right and left foot for 12 times on each leg. Doing amazing guys. Let's move right into jump squats next for 12 reps. Simply lower yourself down into an air squat and then once you hit the bottom of the squat, jump up, then repeat for a total of 12 times. You guys are killing it. Go ahead and take a one minute rest. Coming back in for some more lateral steps, 12 reps per leg, here we go guys. Keep that booty low in a squat position, leg gains, here we come. Jump squats coming right up, 12 reps. Just a few more reps to go, you got this babe. Awesome, awesome job. Go grab some water and hydrate before we start the next round in 60 seconds. Round 3 of this superset starting now. Let's do some resistance band lateral steps for 12 reps on each leg. Inhale, exhale. You're doing great. Moving right into jump squats for 12 reps. You got this, babe. Keep on going. You're a true powerhouse, love. Well done. Go ahead and take a 60 second rest before we finish this workout up.
Here comes our final super set before we call it a day. Let's give it all we've got guys. Lateral steps for 12 reps on each leg. Keep that strength and energy up. You're doing this for future you. Heading straight into jump squats. 12 reps, let's get it guys. Jump straight into those New Year's resolutions. Only a few more reps to go. Well done guys, you guys absolutely slayed day one and I can't wait to do day two with you. Go rest up, hydrate, eat some food, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to come here and work out with me today guys. If you enjoyed this workout, of course, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, do that and turn, turn the notification bell on, bell on. It really helps to get this video into other into the hands of other people who would also appreciate this video of course if you liked doing day one of week one of my level up workout guide with me today i will leave the link to purchase the whole entire six week workout guide so you can have exclusive access to it in the in the description box below my outfit that i'm wearing is from tia love i'll leave all the details link to shop and my discount code in the description if you guys want to pick anything up from tia love thanks so much again for hanging out and working out with me today guys if you have any questions about this workout or my level up workout guide make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again. I'll see you guys soon.